Jakarta is one of the cities with Betawi culture, which is one of the largest ethnic groups in Indonesia. This tribe certainly has a variety of traditional cultures. One of the things that attracts people's attention is the traditional snacks. Of the many traditional snacks owned by Betawi, one of them is pancong cake. In this city, this cake is very familiar and can be found in this city. Then, why can the snacks be called pancong cake? How did it come from? How has it developed so far? We will explain all of this in this video. Pancong, the cake of Betawi. Before we move on, let us see who are behind the creation of this video. Pancong cake is a traditional Betawi cake. This cake appeared and was very popular in the 80s until 90s even today. Pancong cake itself is an abbreviation of panganan kacung. In the past, the term was later created for the abbreviation of pancung, where ordinary people used to not have such food, but because it sounded uncomfortable, they were took into the pancong. Some say that pancong is taken from the abbreviation pantat di congkel, which means the bottom of the cake that is stand after being cooked. Pancong itself is very familiar in the Betawi area, but has several other names. For example, in Sundanese, this cake is called Bandros. In Central Java, it is called Gandos. In Surabaya, it is called Rangin. In the Bojonegoro area, it is called Trata Cake. At the beginning, the bottle of this pancong cake is uniform in shape, texture, ingredients, etc. Sugar and grated coconut were only options used for the topping. As the time goes by, this food has transformed into more complex variations and contemporary concepts. Nowadays, many cafe or hangout places also serve this food due with modifications. It has changed the way it was into more flavor or topping variations such as fruit jam, green tea, nutella, ice cream, even rainbow pancong cake and the undercooked type. So that was our video. We hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and stay healthy. Bye.